I my review on hoodwinks. So these group of fairy tale people uh, can, uh, all suspects of committing a crime. It's up to this fraud detective to figure out who is the guilty suspect. And they go through all the stories. She had that different side of stories. And the Big Bad Wolf story is that he is a private eye. And he was doing a little investigation and thought that uh, Red was suspicious. The odd. Uh, so just acting like a, uh, acting suspicious. You know he doesn't really met her before. He's in, she's suspicious, but I don't know. He's kind of an idiot, but this made most the last. So he tries to. So he just as grand as the last step of getting down to the bottom of mystery. Red's story is that. Um, she's delivering goodies to Granny, but she wants to do more with her life. Granny is doing living the exact life that she's living, the life to extreme. And so when her secret is out, uh, this tells the distance between, this little distance, a big distance between Granny and Red. Red. So Red gets rid of the Red <laughs> uh, and, um, Yeah and uh, the other guy's story that he's an actor searching for a role and he just was in the wrong place at the wrong time. And there's a certain character that prepares in each one story that the, the detective the figure out that who is the culprit. It's the same person that has prepared me appearance in each one of the stories. The bunny rabbit! <laughs> yes. <laughs> the bunny rabbit, you know, he didn't do anything suspicious. What a stupid twist. <laughs> So, um, this leads to, um, Brad getting kidnapped by the bunny. And everyone team up, and Granny and Red rebuilding their relationship. And the end of Happily Ever After, while getting hired by the detective. And <laughs> Red just puts a hood on him. <laughs> To make it look bad, so it doesn't look so stupid. And that was Hoodwink. It was. It's a very fun film to watch. You know, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I recommend watching this. 